Insects are small but fascinating creatures that play a crucial role in our ecosystem. They come in all shapes and sizes, and each species has unique characteristics and behaviors. One curious phenomenon that people often notice about insects is that they often die on their backs. So, why do insects die on their backs? Let's take a closer look. The primary reason why insects die on their backs is due to their anatomy and the way they are built. Insects have a hard, protective exoskeleton that covers their entire body. This exoskeleton provides them with the necessary structure and support to carry out their daily activities. However, the exoskeleton also restricts their movements and makes it difficult for them to right themselves when they fall onto their backs. When an insect becomes weak or unable to control its movements, its nervous system fails, causing it to lose muscle tone and control. As a result, the insect collapses and rolls onto its back. The rigidity of its exoskeleton prevents it from flipping back over, and it remains in that position until death. Another factor that contributes to insects dying on their backs is the design of their legs. Most insects have six legs that are attached to the exoskeleton at various points. These legs are designed for crawling, jumping, and other forms of movement. However, they are not equipped to support the insect in an upright position when it becomes weak or unable to control its movements. In conclusion, Insects die on their backs due to the unique combination of their exoskeleton and legs. Their exoskeleton provides them with the necessary structure and support, but also restricts their movements, making it difficult for them to right themselves when they become weak or unable to control their movements. Understanding why insects die on their backs can help us appreciate the complexity and adaptability of these tiny creatures and their importance to our ecosystem.